Hey guys, I wanted to show you a, a switch that I connected. I connected a, a, uh, an, a voltage meter and an amp meter from Coleman Air, which I thought was pretty cool. I, um, I connected it be, just as the wires come into the house. I cut into the positive legs of two of my panels and I put the shunt in series with the, with the positive legs and then just connected the red orange and white as instructed in the instructions so both those are just uh, that shunt is just cut in series and can and but and those are both positive legs across that shunt and now this meter tells me what my panels are doing so you can see that they're doing about 35 volts DC and just over an amp or um, it's fluctuating uh, so anyway the amp meters on the bottom the voltage meters on the top so I thought that was a pretty cool little meter. That way I can see exactly what my panels are doing before they hit the charge controller. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. So again, uh, just cut both positive legs, put the shunt in series, connected the little orange, red, and white wires as instructed. And now I've got a constant reading with what's going on with my panels. I used one of their switches as well, one of their meters as well, to read the voltage that that are uh, that my batteries are at. I've got um, six volt golf cart batteries, all connected in series and parallel, and so I can uh, just come over here and see that they're they're sitting at 13.42 volts. So I just thought that was kind of cool. Um, you know, at any time I can just come up and see where my batteries are, and then I can come over here and I can see exactly what my panels are doing before they go anywhere else. Uh, I'm getting ready to grid tie with these uh, 300 watt inverters that I got on eBay and I have turned and I'm losing focus. I've turned my paperwork into my power company and uh, I'm getting ready to uh, grid tie and so I wanted to be sure I was producing enough uh, energy to grid tie so uh, that's kind of why I wanted to get this meter um, Just so I can see exactly what I'm producing and it looks like I'm probably going to need four more panels or so to really get some good uh, Current coming in so that I can grid tie But the purpose of this video is just to show you how to how to hook a shunt uh, And a meter up a shunt meter slash voltage meter to so that you can monitor your panels and see what your panels are doing uh, just by putting uh, putting the uh, shunt in series there with the positive legs coming in from your panels and then you end up with the reading okay um, and again I'll see if I can bring this out here without losing the focus if I can show you the panels the panels that I'm using are the top two there that one's a 250 watt 12 volt. That one's 185 watt. They're grape solar um, panels, monocrystalline. I paralleled them both together. So the the other four down here are Harbor Freight. They're 15 watts each, and I'm just kind of experimenting with, with those. They're hooked to the Harbor Freight charge control that comes with them. But the two up top there are what's uh, connected to that meter. So I can see the voltage and the amperage coming in from those. And like I said, I'm getting ready to grid tie. And so I just thought it would be cool to hook that little switch up that I ordered from Coleman Air so that I could see exactly what my panels were producing. Uh, so those of you who are trying to connect a shunt and an amp meter, I know it gets confusing. You might try these Coleman Airs. They're pretty simple. Just uh, cut them in series. Cut that shunt right in series with a positive leg. And there you go. You got your voltage and your amperage coming in. Uh, so I get it all hooked up and do another video, um, just a quick video on how to connect a meter with a shunt, showing the amperage and the voltage coming in from uh, from your panels. Okay, have a good one.